Question 1. Box wine. A book that people will judge you for liking, but you like it anyway. A Summer for Kisses is a Regency romance much in the vein of a Georgia Hire, and a particular favourite from this series. I know romance is heavily criticised, but there is just something comforting in a well-delivered formula. Question 2. Organic Wine. A book that doesn't have any added crap in it and is perfectly written. The intensity and depth in Of Mice and Men surprised me as it is such a short narrative. It follows the story of two drifters looking for work within the Californian Depression and belied an intense character study that gave voice to the lonely outsiders who were misunderstood and condemned by the majority of society. Question 3. Glühwein, a really spicy wintry read. Whilst I didn't read the Scorpio races during winter, Maggie Stiefvater's chilling atmospheric writing and haunting twist on the Scottish Kelpie produced a wintry read. However, the character of Puck and her fiery determination to save her family, paired with the blossoming romance throughout the novel, gave it the added spice to an already fascinating read. Question 4. Sauvignon Blanc. A really sharp, aggressive read that you just couldn't put down. I read The Winner's Curse in one day. The story of Kestrel is more than her desire to pursue music above military service and marriage, and it is more than her purchase of the slave Aaron and her love for him. It is filled with political intrigue, manoeuvring, murder and revolt, as the reader is forced to question the superiority of military might over cultured arts and academia. Question 5. Pinot Noir a book you didn't expect much from, but ended up getting blown away. Ready Player One is surrounded with so much hype, my expectations were significantly lowered, not to be disappointed as I have been in the past. However, the RPG style of the Oasis narrative, the detailed world building, and the intricate reference to the 1980s pop culture intensified my investment to the story, to the extent that weeks after finishing the book, I wanted to pick it up and reread choice sections. Question 6. Chardonnay. A good summer read that was super zesty. Set in rural Australia, on the Jellicoe Road is a perfect blend of drama, grief, friendship and hope. Taylor is the leader of the boarding school struggling to maintain control in the war against the cadets and the townies, whilst also facing her past and grief as her mother abandoned her on the Jellicoe Road when she was 11. Question 7. Rosé, a book that has a little bit of everything in it. I loved how the storyteller blends three distinct narratives. As the present, Sage discovers the secrets of an elderly friend and faces a moral crisis. The past is Sage's grandmother's tale of living through the Polish ghetto and then the extermination camps in World War II Europe. And the fairy tale is of a young girl encountering a vampire, haunted by his past and seeking redemption. Question 8. Shiraz, a full-bodied book that is dark and juicy. The Beast Garden is a unique retelling of the Beauty and Beast fairy tale. Set in Berlin, it follows the lives of German citizens who stood against the Nazi party. Ava, a beautiful singer, attracts the attention of Leo, a Nazi officer in the Secret Service. However, her loyalty to her Jewish friends and strong anti-Nazi sentiment refuses his proposal until his aid is required to help her family. Question 9. Mellow, a smooth, easy read with a soft finish. Winifred Watson charms the reader with love, happiness and glamour, as Miss Pettigrew, an ageing governess, becomes the unexpected employee of the alluring nightclub singer Delicia Lafosse, and she encounters glamour as she's only seen in the movies, and their sudden friendship changes both of their lives forever. Question 10. Champagne, your favourite book. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern is one of my absolute favourites. Whilst it is a slow read and I do recommend people taking a little bit longer to get through it, I believe the sense of wonder and magic that it exudes is absolutely beautiful. 
The circus was created to be a battlefield by the magician masters of Celia and Marco. However, when they find their talents can be put better as collaboration than competition, they truly begin to fall in love with each other and the circus. Thank you to Kate Howe for tagging me in this tag and thank you for joining on my adventure. See you soon.